This year's Super Bowl is shining a spotlight on how players, both professional and amateur, can protect themselves. And of course, Buffalo Bills' Damar Hamlin's recent chest injury sent shockwaves through the nation. And that injury reigniting a conversation among so many parents, is it even safe for their kids to play this game? That's where the Taylor Hogan Foundation has stepped in. The foundation was established by Brian and Kathy after their 15-year-old son Taylor died after a traumatic abdominal injury ruptured his spleen. And now they work to honor their son and his love for their game, for the game by helping better protect school-age athletes from internal injuries. The foundation donated new protective gear for nearly 100 high school players in Douglasville, Georgia. And joining us now to discuss their push for change, Kathy and Brian Haugen, uh, found Founders of the Taylor Haugen Foundation. Kathy and Brian, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank for, you and for first of all, I am so sorry for your loss. It is amazing to see the action that you've taken, the work that you do. And, and in just this last event, we know you donated high-tech high gear to nearly 100 high school players. Can you share what was their reaction to receiving this gear? At first, I don't think they knew what was going on. And uh, after talking to them, and explaining why I was there and what our foundation does, uh, it started to register with them that, that I, the equipment that we had for them was to just better help protect them. And it's not equipment you see every day. I mean, Brian, this is pro level gear, right? The same that the professionals use. Do you think that all high school athletes should have access, should be using this kind of gear? Yeah, Natasha, that's a great question. I mean, the reality is that high school parents and coaches are simply not aware of the level of gear that many of the pros and college students or players have and are made aware of. And our number one goal is to make our parents and coaches aware that this kind of high-tech equipment exists so they can better protect their uh, their their you know, young secondary school players in the sport. Yeah. And Kathy, you've mentioned um, how your son Taylor in the past, an avid lover of football, of course. How is this time of year for you? Does it bring up any specific thoughts? Oh, many, many. Uh, there's a number of times through the year that Taylor is uh, heavy on our heart more than others. Uh, this is one. Um, obviously, he, he was a huge football fan from a very young age. And um, and we maintain that love. Um, I don't I don't agree that that football needs to be restricted. I think we can play smarter rather than take away something that so many benefit from. They they learn so much more than playing the game. It's, it's amazing to hear you say that, given what uh, you and your family have been through. And, and Brian, what would you say to parents who are still scared to let their child play football? I always quote my wife. You know, she coined the phraseology when we did the protective parent video with RG3 and his mom, where Kathy said, uh, don't prevent your child from playing the sport that they love for fear that they're going to be injured. Do your homework to figure out how to best protect them so they can better enjoy the sport that they love and, 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 and play it safer. And I think that we should do more of that. Uh, we should be proactive as parents and not assume that the coaches know uh, all of the best uh, capabilities to protect them. And that's part of our, our mission. That's our number one mission in, in our Youth Equipment for Sports Safety Program through the foundation is to better, uh, you know, uh, 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 pass out the education of knowledge of the equipment out there and, and better help prevent these kind of things yeah. from happening. Yeah, Kathy, what would you like us to know about Taylor? <laughs> Yeah, hmm. uh, way too much to to cover tonight. Uh, miss him just immensely every day, but uh, happy that his legacy is living on, and and what happened to him is hopefully going to protect and um, prevent parents from having to go through the same thing that we have. Brian, Brian, what about you? No, I just totally agree. I mean, if if we can work toward helping just one family not have to go through what we've been through, then uh, well done, my good faithful servant. Yeah, Brian and Kathy Haugen, I'm so touched by how you have taken what must have been the absolute worst day of your life and um, have really sprung into action to protect other families' children. Um, it is such a beautiful thing.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.